What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. Well, I'm hoping to get some continued cooperation from the sun today because in today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how I stripe my Bermuda lawn. Well, on Monday, we finally got that good rain we were looking for and I've actually gotten to get out in the lawn a couple of times this week and get a mow in. So I just wanted to show y'all what the grass is looking like right now. And you can see it is some pretty tightly cut turf because I've already mowed the front and we definitely have that carpet look working. And I actually haven't made any more applications to it in the last couple of weeks because A, I saw that it was still holding onto its color pretty well and B, I didn't want to push a whole lot of growth right now because I'm still in the school year and still in the baseball season. So I cannot get out here as often as I would really need to to mow it as often as I would really need to, especially if I don't have it under regulation. But it is still looking really, really good just with the applications that it's gotten so far. And if you'll remember, all I've put on it so far is the starter furt from Yard Mastery. I haven't made a single application of the flagship yet. And I've made a couple of applications, uh, all of it's being spoon fed, granular and liquid, of the liquid products that I got sent by Yard Mastery as well. And I made a video on that a couple of weeks ago if you wanna check it out. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the backyard. And that's where I'm going to show you kind of uh, what I do to get stripes down in the backyard on Bermuda, because it's not the easiest thing in the world. And hopefully we can get the sun to peek out from behind those clouds so you can really see those stripes. So the first thing that you wanna do whenever you're gonna mow, and specifically if you're planning on putting stripes down in your lawn, is to make a trim pass around the perimeter of the yard. And what that's gonna do is just allow you to give yourself a little maneuvering room for when you need to make the turns and go into your next stripe. And really after you've made your trim pass, the most important stripe you're gonna make is your very first pass because you wanna make that as straight as possible because that's gonna be the stripe or the line that you're gonna go off of for the rest of your pattern. And a good way to stay on a straight line when you're making your first pass is to just pick a point in the distance and walk or mow straight to that point. So in today's video, I'm just gonna show y'all a single double pattern, which is just single stripes going one way that are next to double stripes going the opposite way. And I'm gonna show y'all how I mow that pattern. And then hopefully, like I said, the sun stays out and you're gonna be able to see that finished product. And a quick little tip, whenever you're striping, let's say you finished your whole yard, you put down some nice stripes and you wanna take a picture of it and send it to all your friends. You wanna take that picture where the sun is behind you because that is where the stripes are gonna show. That's why I keep mentioning the sun throughout this video because when the sun's not out, you don't see your stripes as well. Or when you are facing the sun, you don't see your stripes as well. So you wanna take that picture or you wanna look at your stripes with the sun at your back. So I stopped after my first stripe here, but what you're seeing is that whenever I'm mowing that way, that's when we're gonna start getting these lighter stripes. So whenever I mow back, you're gonna see that that's gonna be a darker stripe on camera. And that's what's gonna give you the illusion of the stripes is just the way that the grass is being bent over by the mower. And that's a really, really heavy mower. And that's how I'm able to stripe Bermuda is because that mower weighs over 200 pounds. So it's able to push over even that shortcut Bermuda to where it's able to lay slightly to one side or the other. And the reflection of the sun is what's gonna give it its lighter or darker color. So whenever we mow away, that's gonna give us our lighter stripes. And whenever we mow towards us or towards the camera right here, that's what's gonna give us our darker stripes. All right, here we go. Okay, so now I've done a stripe there and a stripe back, and you can see light stripe, dark stripe. Now, to do the single double pattern, I'm gonna have double on the dark stripe. So I'm going to go back on my initial line, and then I'm going to come back 
on the outside of the first line that I made coming this way. So we're gonna do one line that way, two lines this way, one line that way, two lines this way, all the way across the yard. And when we finish that pattern, that's what's going to create that single double look that we're going after. Okay, so I just finished cutting the initial pattern and hopefully y'all can see this on film, but we've got our double stripes that are darker right here. And then right here is the single stripes that are going away from us. So these are going away. These are coming back towards the camera. And remember you want the sun behind your back to really be able to see these stripes. So what I'm gonna do right now is something called burning in the stripes, which is basically just going back over the entire yard in the pattern that I just mowed it. And all that's gonna do is get those lines and the stripes to pop a little bit more. And it's going to define, hopefully, define those edges a little bit more as well. So right now, again, this is called burning the stripes in. All right, y'all, I just finished burning them in, and this is the final product. So this is the single double pattern. 
And Bermuda is not going to stripe as well as your cool season turfs, like your Kentucky bluegrass, ryegrass, even your turf type tall fescue. But if you have the right equipment, and if your mower is heavy enough really, you can still put down some pretty nice stripes. So let's go ahead and look at the grass. I'll try to get it to where I'm out of the shot here. And you can tell that it's looking really, really nice. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're liking the content and you wanna continue to see more of it, please hit that subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.